Fairlight is an audio workspace buried in DaVinci Resolve, and today we're continuing our series on Fairlight with the mixer. Once you start creating buses, the audio mixer exposes two sets of channel strips. The leftmost set of channel strips correspond to the audio tracks in the timeline, while the rightmost set of channel strips expose a set of controls for each bus that you've created. If you have more tracks and buses than can be displayed at once, given the width of your computer display, then each half of the mixer has independent scroll bars so that you can choose which tracks and which buses you want to see next to one another. The new Fairlight audio engine has advanced capabilities in the bus structure within Fairlight. The new busing system is called Flexbus and offers complete user flexibility for bus types and signal routing, which changes the prior main sub and auxiliary bus formats to be completely user definable. This new structure makes it possible to patch outputs and or sends in any way you need as dictated by your project. Each track can now be output to up to 10 buses buses and sends with an additional level and pan controls to a further 10 buses. Buses can be sent to other buses up to six layers deep, facilitating complex stem building processing and allowing discrete deliverables. User definable buses allow for bus to bus or bus to track or track to bus routing with each bus having the ability to pass signals from mono to fully immersive formats, such as Dolby Atmos at the user's discretion. As with any and all of the tracks in Fairlight, these bus types can be changed at any time by the user. If you want to work using the previous method of fixed bus mapping, you can do so for new projects by opening the Fairlight panel of the project settings and turning on the used fixed bus mapping checkbox. This checkbox can only be enabled in new projects in which no timelines have yet been created. Once you've created one or more timelines, the option is locked to whatever it was set to when the project was created. Here's a playlist of other videos about Resolve. If you liked the video, consider subscribing.